uncover the hidden world of political campaigns in just five minutes. Join me, your host, David Washington, on Countertop Politics every Monday for exclusive campaign insights, tantalizing innuendo, and the secret sauce behind successful political campaigns. Don't miss out. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. You know what time it is. It is Monday, and that means it's countertop politics. As I said, five minutes of the good stuff, or thereabouts. Hey, I'm David Washington. I am your host of Countertop Politics, and uh, it is October 2024. It is specifically October 7th, 2024, and Hurricane Helene has already passed through Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, so forth and so on. And it left a large swath of devastation. Now, in the next 24, 48 hours, Central Florida, the Sun Coast, the Space Coast, Southwest Florida is going to face Hurricane Milton. And we're just now reaching the apex of the hurricane season here in 2024. So that means with all the emergency evacuation orders, people are going to leave home. People are going to seek refuge where they believe it's going to be safe. However, that does not mean elections stop. Here in Florida, just last week or over the weekend, Governor DeSantis established an executive order to make sure that the election continues. In those areas, the Big Bend area, to be specific, Cedar, um, uh, the Big Bend area uh, where devastation was incredible. He wants to make sure, among many other things, that people are safe that people are getting the resources they need to recover, and also that their right to vote is not diminished. Now, saying that, this is an opportunity for candidates, campaigns, to show that they are on their A game in regards to making sure when it comes to preparation for the election that their voters know that the system is in place, it is good, and that your vote will be counted. Among all the other things that candidates should be doing doing at this time, you know, collecting, you know, non-perishable items, clothes, raising a little money for, you know, the recovery efforts. That's great, great community service. However, you have a campaign to be concerned about. And if you were one of the smart ones, you have already built this, these natural natural catastrophes into your campaign plan. And, and you may ask, ask yourself or ask me, you know, please leave a comment. Well, how do you plan for something like this? Well, you know, here in Florida, we know exactly when the hurricane season is. I've campaigned through hurricanes. And one of the things that has uh, prepared my clients in their campaign for a successful election day is, of course, following the credible weather reports on whatever platform that gives me the information I need in a timely manner to plan and pivot accordingly, but also, also the project plan that we set up, we've got this, we've got these types of of disruptions in the campaign built into the project plan. And so when I talk about pivoting to a point where we're able 
to change our direction of the campaign so that whatever negative or positive happens to the campaign, we're able to move quickly. And one of the tools or resources that we use for situations like this, where it's unsafe to, to, to go um, traditional canvassing, knock on doors, where mail disruption is a possibility, where phone banking or texting will fail. No one's going to answer or, or return a text uh, as they're evacuated or, or getting preparations for a hurricane. That's the last thing on their mind. However, as things get settled, people are prepared and they wait for the storm wherever they're at. We have a resource through our partners at El Toro and L2 where we have our data on our voter targets and we're able to send digital banner impressions to our voter, voter targets so that they can get alerts from the campaign. They can get updates from the campaign. They can get general information from the campaign. And they can get general information, particularly about, guess what? Where to vote, how to vote, in any particular order, executive order that the governor establishes that may affect their area. Those digital pressures go to their devices, regardless of where they are, to your targeted voter, making sure that they stay in the loop. So saying that, I'm hoping and praying that everyone who's in the path of Hurricane Milton remains safe, that they take care of themselves and their loved ones, that God will watch over not just Florida, but everyone, everyone here in the United States, our friends in Israel, in the Mideast, our friends and family in Europe, our brethren, our loved ones in Africa, Australia, Asia, everywhere. God bless America. God bless Earth. God bless this world. Okay? So, this is Countertop Politics. I really, really appreciate everything, everything that you all do. Thank you for being a part of our community. Ubuntu. This is, I, I love what I do, and these are some very fascinating times. But what's really fascinating is that you, of course, like and comment. I love to hear what you have to say. Subscribe to Countertop Politics, or better yet, subscribe to the JM Washington Network, the, 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 the network of our podcasts. Of course, you have Countertop Politics with yours truly. You have the David Washington Show with yours truly. You have our new show, our miniseries with legacy Democrat James Safant here from Central Florida. That show is called From the Margins with James Safant and David Washington. And don't forget our flagship podcast. You can't make this shit up with the JM Washington Network. So thank you again. And please hit that like button, subscribe, and share our content to everyone, everyone that you know, family, friends, influencers, candidates, and those electeds who you believe that you think that you know can benefit from our content. We will see you the next time. I'm David Washington, and we're out.